Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's episode, just a side note. Yesterday I have announced in my last video that we're going to do this weekly $10 Bitcoin giveaway and that you have to comment and put your Bitcoin address in the video for the subscription. So that means you don't have to put the comment and your Bitcoin address on the actual new video that I have made here on YouTube, like the one from yesterday. You have to put it on this video over here where it says subscription video. So it's about this BTRT live video that I have done and only on those video where it's written subscription video, you have to put there the comment and the Bitcoin address. So I will do every week at the beginning of the week, a subscription video when it says BTRT $10 Bitcoin giveaway. And then at the end of the week, I gonna do the same thing, but with the winner selection. So there we're gonna select the winner. And therefore, to also to make it more easier, I have made a playlist. So in case that you're not sure where you have to put the Bitcoin address and to participate on this $10 weekly giveaway, you just go to playlist and then here you can see this weekly BTR $10 Bitcoin giveaway that I'm doing currently. And here you can just go to the newest subscription video. You click here and then you put your comment and also Bitcoin address. So it's always written like here in my previous video, subscription video here. All right. So not on the newest one, because yesterday some people commented with the Bitcoin address on this video. So on the newest one, but you have to put it over here because from this video, I'm going to select randomly the winner. So for this week, it's the one over here that you can see. If you're not sure which one it is, then just go to the playlist where it's written weekly BTR $10 giveaway. You can also subscribe to this uh, playlist or check it every week, which video is the newest one for the subscription because we're going to do this uh, weekly. Huh? So we're going to do every week this $10 Bitcoin giveaway next to the usual big $50 Bitcoin giveaway that we do with every 500 subscribers. So currently we have 1200 subscribers. So thank you very much for your support, guys. You're really the greatest. And we have 300 more to the next big $50 Bitcoin giveaway. Till then, we're going to see a lot of price action on the Bitcoin price, I'm sure. So let's see where we will be at 1,500 subscriber at what price level. And therefore, let's start with today's uh, TA because Bitcoin after breaking from this potential rising wedge here to the downside, currently we bounce at $9,000 again and we are creating this support here at the previous resistance of this bigger falling wedge that we already broke out before, but we retraced back here into to this falling wedge and now currently we could see another breakout a potential breakout because the volume is coming in here a little bit in the one hour so let's see if this is gonna be a potential beginning of a massive move to the upside or are we just gonna top out here towards nine thousand two hundred dollar again because so far we are not able to close candles and create support above nine thousand two hundred or nine thousand three hundred dollar which is very bearish and we could expect here a massive uh, dump. So I'm still waiting here for a potential drop towards 8K to buy back in some cheaper Bitcoins and start to scale in big longs. I am still currently also in a little long position here over on BTRT. I still didn't close it, but as you can see, I put my take profit lower. So I put it now at $9,200 here towards the 200 moving average in one hour, because I think if we are having this retest here of this new resistance up here again, we could also there getting heavily rejected. And that's why I'm closing this little long position over there and then wait for confirmation and also for the next move to be able to open up a new trade, maybe a short, maybe a long, let's see. But the big longs that I'm planning to open will start lower than 8K. So I'm still waiting for a potential move to the downside, even though currently it looks like that Bitcoin could see another little leg up here towards $9,200. The RSI is also now trading here in the upper area so in theory we could see another leg up and also bring the RSI here towards overbought condition stochastic is also shifted to the upside and also here we are coming very close to overbought condition so I think here a test of the 200 moving average and also of this new resistance up here towards 9220 is very likely to come very soon 
here you can see in the Bollinger Band that we are touched here the top and currently also we are having troubles to break through so here 9200 is still a potential resistance MACD is now shifted to the upside so let's see if here we have some room left to the upside or not because if we go over to the four hour time frame here you can see that currently we are having the support here the 20 moving average and here the 50 is currently giving us resistance so if we are able to break this 9200 dollar resistance here in theory we could start to trade again towards 9500 dollar and retest here the main resistance that we have currently here so we are not able to create a support above 9500 currently which in my opinion could be the indicator that we will see a potential 10k retest only if we're able to come back up again above 9500 and also create a support there currently this moving average and this resistance here at around 9500 to 9300 is too strong currently and as long as we're not starting to trade above there i think we could be in here for a massive dump to the downside the stochastic here is in neutral condition rsi right at the 50 so in theory we have here a lot of room left to the upside if we have a successful bounce from it and also break this 9200 dollars so let's wait and see what will happen here in the next couple of hours but I think we could be in here for another leg up and also if you have a look on the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that also here before we had this little retest here of this top of the Bollinger Band and I think we could be in here for another test and also a potential break through this uh, resistance that we have here in the Bollinger Band also at $9,200. MACD is also shifted to the upside so here in the lower time frames it looks like that Bitcoin is gearing up for another push to the upside and that's why I'm still keeping up here with my long position here on uh, BTR. On Bybit I still don't have a trade here because here I'm planning to open up a big long position but only if we are really starting to drop towards 8k. Alright and now let's go over to the daily time frame. Because here currently we still have the 20 and 50 daily moving average above of us and the 20 daily is also here at around $9,300. So I still think that if we are having an attempt here to break $9,200, this $9,300 could be a heavy resistance. Also I had before my take profit of my long position here at $9,300 because I think we could be in for a test of the 20 daily. But right now I think that the $9,200 could also be already uh, quite a huge resistance and maybe we're just gonna have a short lift a week here towards the 20 daily but this is what we're gonna have to see in the next couple of hours the problem here in the daily is also that currently the RSI is trading below the 50 level so in theory now we are trading on the bearish side and the 50 level in the RSI should give us resistance and the way to the downside here till we are getting oversold is still long so in theory here we have a lot of room left to the downside and that's why I'm expecting here a potential big rejection at this area here for around 9300 and then see the potential bigger drop here but so far we're still safe and if we're able to bring the RSI again above the 50 then everything will change again but as it is right now it looks like that we are trading again on the bearish side and we are shifted to the downside and we should look for a sell the rallies sell the pumps and not try to long the tops so currently maybe it's more safe to try to get a good short position but since i don't like too much to um, enter shorts because also it's um, easier to open up longs and if the price is falling uh, to buy back in cheaper then when you're short and the price goes higher and then you, you also have to buy back in with a higher price so usually it is more safe to long than short that's why shorting i'm always a bit skeptical even though you can of course also make profits when you short the market but if i'm open up short positions then always only with a small amount so i prefer to take out some profits in tether for example and then park it over on Binance to get some interest till I can buy back in some cheaper bitcoins if the price is really falling and I always have a little short position then but really just with a small amount I prefer to put in bigger amounts when I can long and also when I'm getting funding rates with the longs currently you're getting funding rates if you're short because we still have way more longs than shorts and now we can have a look also on the Bollinger Band here in the daily time frame because here we are still trading in the lower part currently we had here a test of the first middle line here of 9200 if we can wick above here or at least start to 
trade here in between the target would be up here at 9330 where also the 20 daily moving average is lining up and that's why i think even though we could see a potential breakout from 9200 dollar maybe 9300 dollar will be too much of a resistance and there we could get rejected as well so in case that you're in a long position like me put a very tight stop loss if you see that we are breaking nine thousand two hundred dollar because even though we could weak here to the upside as long as we're not closing a daily candles above nine thousand two hundred or nine thousand three hundred in theory here we could even drop down towards eight thousand nine hundred dollar because this is also here the bottom of the bollinger band in the daily and also the macd is still shifted to the downside if we have a look here on the weekly time frame here it is still looking more bullish because we're trading above the 20 weekly and 50 weekly moving average which currently are at around $8,700. RSI is still above the 50, stochastic is still in overbought condition. The weekly is still looking quite bullish and although we have a lot of room to the upside especially considering the RSI right at the 50 level. The problem here in the Bollinger Band is that currently we're trading here between the two middle lines so currently we have the 9240 as a resistance and here the 8260 60 as a possible support in case that we will fall down here from nine thousand dollar so watch out here for this eight thousand two hundred dollar where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and this is my first target to be reached in case of a bigger drop because this drop would mean a one thousand dollar drop in bitcoin and if you go short for example with the 10x leverage you can do massive gains here or if you took out some profits here at around nine thousand dollar and higher you can already here buy some more bitcoins and if we continue to drop here even more you will be able to buy with the money that you took out here i took a little bit of profits out but really just a little bit which i'm using to trade but the big stack is still invested into Bitcoin because if we're starting to moon from here, I'm okay with that. I'm already bought in and I don't have to worry. This money that I'm just trying to buy back in some cheaper Bitcoins is really just for trading and nothing else. For the long term, I just keep it and hodl in Bitcoin. And since now we closed also a monthly candle, let's go to the monthly time frame because last month we closed here in red and also we had here a big week to the upside. So in theory, this is never a good sign. But since we're trading above the 20 moving average in the monthly, which is here at $8,000, I still think we could maybe see a potential big red candle like we often had after a massive pump. We had the first red candle in the monthly and then the big drop. And I think something similar could also happen here, maybe also short lift because if we are dropping down towards 8K and the 20 moving average here in the monthly will hold at around $8,000, I think we could be in here for another big bounce to the upside. But last month we closed in red, so let's see what this month will bring. Since we are trading here very close to the main resistance area here of around $10,500, I think we have more room left to the downside than to the upside. And that's why I still think we could see a last move to to the downside before a potential breakout from this ten thousand five hundred dollar and that's why i'm also prepared a bit to buy some cheaper bitcoins if we really drop down to those levels here the rsi is also still above the 50 levels to casting in neutral condition so here in the monthly we still have a lot of room left to the upside but even though we could fall towards 8k and lower we would still remain here above the 15 the rsi and this is very very important for the bigger time frame so here the monthly it is very important that we're not starting to close monthly candles below the 20 moving average and also not bring the rsi below the 50 level because in that case we could be in for a longer bear market currently we're still in a bull market even though we could fall towards 8k again this would be still okay for the bitcoin price and as long as we're closing these monthly candles above this moving average everything is okay so if you see the price going lower than that it will be the perfect opportunity to buy some very cheap bitcoins especially if you're reaching here the 0.618 fib line at around six thousand four hundred dollar but we should then immediately retrace back up and see the close of the monthly candle above the 20 moving average so even though we could fall below the 20 moving average the important thing is that we're not starting to close candles below this moving average in the monthly time frame and if you also want to trade these pumps and dumps and take as much profits as you can with your cryptos then use bybit because bybit you can trade bitcoin and other altcoins up to 100x leverage so also with smaller amounts you can make big gains 
Bybit is also the exchange that I recommend you if you're using cryptos and BTR is the exchange that I recommend you if you're using Tether. So here you can trade all these coins that you see here, also Bitcoin with Tether, also up to 100x and here you don't have to own the coin. So with Tether you can trade all of these uh, coins and also here you can get a lot of bonuses. So here you can get up to $258 in bonus based on your trading volume so if you use a lot of volume here you can get the most bonuses out there you can also create an account on all of those exchanges and then based on your portfolio you can trade with tether or cryptos whatever you want you can also do multiple trades on different exchanges so if you need an account you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description on bybit if you use my link you can get 90 dollars sign up bonus of course you also have to put some deposit and do some stuff there to get the full bonus but you also support the channel if you use my link Femex also I recommend you especially if you want to trade gold here you can get $72 for free sign up bonus and of course a BTR. Here also you can get some bonuses and here you can trade with your tether as well and BTR is also offering currently this $10 Bitcoin giveaway every week so make sure to subscribe here to the channel subscribe if you can also over on Twitch there we're going to do the live streams and also please join our free discord trading chat you find the link down below here it's completely for free everyone is welcome we have a great community so please join also the discord trading chat and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now i hope you like the content please leave a like just comment everything you want and don't forget also to comment over in the weekly btr 10 dollar giveaway because here we're gonna select the winner towards the end of the week saturday or sunday i'm gonna do the selection so make sure also to comment and leave your bitcoin address over there thank you very much for watching my friends subscribe to the channel and we see us all in the next one bye